Today is a Tuesday, uh, September the 19th. So this is something that's caught my attention in the news. And this appears this could be starting up again. And this is something I've, I've been on the lookout of. And I mentioned, brought this up in the past. So, so right now there's uh, clashes going on between uh, essentially Ar Armenia and Azerbaijan. And so... I put a video up about this in uh, 2020, September 2020, uh, titled a WW3 Possibly Starting. And basically I discussed that a, uh, I brought up a, so in September 2020, that's when the clashes had reignited. So the second nagorno karabakh war, so started September 27th, 2020. Essentially between Armenia and Azerbaijan over a contested territory within Azerbaijan that is mostly composed of ethnic uh, Armenians. And the conflict was going back, you know, decades. And Azerbaijan is mostly a Muslim and then Armenia is a majority Christian. So I felt even this was always even like a representat representation of a great old spiritual war because Armenia was the first country in the world to adopt Christianity as a state religion in 301 AD. Christianity an immensely important role shaping Armenian people. First Christian nation, Armenia. So I felt this was, and then Azerbaijan is a, a Muslims. So I felt this was a war on Christianity, and the interesting thing is this had ignited, reignited, as a, as a full-scale war in September of 2020. And so, in what uh, uh, started at the end of 2019, the whole global situation in September of 2020 was when this w w war started, and uh, what happened three months later, they started putting, um, uh, forcing people to... Uh, uh, you know, put in stuff in people's bodies and see, this is interesting. And so now this conflict, so we see uh, Armenia, Christian, Azerbaijan, Muslim, war on Christianity. And three months later, what are they doing? The the war on the, the seed, the war on uh, everyone globally trying to force people to put something in their body. And this, this seems like this was linked up. And so it's very interesting. Now this is reigniting potentially. This could break out into another full-scale war. Essentially between Armenia and Azerbaijan. And and it's very ironic that within a matter of what a few weeks or a month or two or so. They're pumping it out. Hey, we have a new uh, quote-unquote a new formulation to put inside your body. We have a new formulation, so they may really get it, be getting ready to force this down, really ramp it up and try to, you know, do the whole lock it all up again and say you have to basically go along with this and uh, put this in your body. Because it's very ironic that now this war is starting again. And what I put in that video, September 2020, WW3 possibly started. And I had mentioned my sister, she had a dream and I shared it. February so seven months before February 2020 my sister in real life she had had a dream where she was on an airplane and she was over the coast of uh Georgia she said it was the country Georgia not the state here the country you can see it on this map it borders Russia she was over the coastline of Georgia the plane was flying to China to a city or province that starts with the letter K. She said missiles were fired at m missiles were fired at the plane over the coastline of Georgia and the plane made an emergency landing on the coastline of Georgia and then, and then she uh was walking through a like a shopping mall or something and she could see riding and you know the foreign language and everything. And it basically landed and she could see the water, so which would have been, I guess, the Black Sea on the coastline of Georgia. And so we can see here from the map, Georgia borders Russia. Armenia borders Georgia.
and Azerbaijan is there too, Turkey, Iran, Russia. So we could see this regional war could easily drag in the major, major players, Russia, Turkey, and Iran. If this uh, grows. And the thing is, George, uh, Armenia is allies with Russia because you have the Christian connection there. Now, Georgia is majorly Christian, but there's been tensions between Georgia and Russia. So Georgia and Armenia aren't necessarily super close allies or anything, but they do have the Christian connection, Georgia and Armenia. But Georgia has tensions with Russia. And then now I, Azerbaijan is uh, allies with essentially Turkey and Iran. And you have the whole Muslim connection. And Armenia is does not like Turkey at all. At all. Because essentially the, the Turks committed a genocide against Armenia about a hundred years ago. And I know for a fact they don't get along because I used to be best friends with someone who was Armenian. And he talked about that. That they, they do not get along with the Turks because they essentially genocided the Armenians. And so this is a, I believe this is greater, a war on Christian, war representing the devil waging a full out war on Christianity, Armenia was the first Christian nation to establish it as Christianity, as the, the, the uh, religion of the nation, first in the world. And so, and we see Iran, Turkey, and Azerbaijan are Muslims, false religion. And so, this is something, so, this is something to keep your eyes on. Because if this uh, picks up, it could pull in the major players. You pull in Turkey, Iran, Russia. This could, uh, this could, uh, you know, get out of hand quickly. And so, back in uh, 2020, that was started on September 27th. Essentially, it was an Azerbaijan victory. We could see Azerbaijan supported by Turkey, Pakistan arms supplier Israel. Hmm, that's interesting. And uh, Armenia, Artsakh, that's the break, the break, essentially the Armenian ethnic uh, territory within Azerbaijan, supported by Armenia, arms supplier Russia, back in 2020. But it was essentially Azerbaijan victory because they used a lot of drones and they had a lot of air, air superiority over, uh, you know, the Artsakh and the Armenians. And so the 2023, what has literally just started yesterday, September 19th, ongoing. Azerbaijan launched military offensive territory. Okay, escalating crisis. So what Azerbaijan has been doing is essentially blockading the Republic Artsakh. Significant scarcities of, of food, medicine, and other goods. Ethnic territorial conflict, Armenia and Azerbaijan. But I'm telling you, I believe this represents literally the war on Christianity by Satan. Because interestingly, like I said, in 2020 when this started, what was presented about three months later, globally they started forcefully putting stuff in people's bodies. It's very interesting. And so now we have this conflict restarting again against essentially Armenians, Christians, and what is getting ready to be presented in about a few weeks or a month or two? The quote-unquote new formulation. And we got to, oh, we got to get it inside your body. We got to force you to take it. I, I don't believe that's a coincidence. So I'm going to, I'm personally, so I'm expecting this is going to heat up again into probably a, another full-scale war. And it could drag in the major players. So basically, uh, basically what Azerbaijan has been, you know, doing a blockade of the route that connects this region to Armenia. And so they've been essentially trying to cut off the ethnic Armenians and people who have been warning this is literally conclusive cause a genocide they're trying to starve them off 
killed the, the Armenians, the Christians off in that region. And so and then now what they've done is they've started an actual attack in Shellin. So this is something to keep your eyes on. When in the dream, my sister was on that airplane over the coastline of Georgia and missiles were fired at it and it made an emergency landing. But it was heading to China. And see, that's very interesting because that was a I had shared that in a video uh, February of 2020. That was like right after the whole China, the whole global situation started. And then just a matter of seven months later, then the full-scale regional war breaks out. So it all seems to link up to the, like I said, the war on Christianity. And the global situation of what they're trying to put inside of people. So keep your eyes on this. God bless in the name of Jesus.